Uh, one of the first things that um, that at least you helped me out with was uh, I had a I had an intern an interview with Engine Room Audio, which was the first one of the first studios that I was that I would yet to be uh, part of. And I do remember very distinctly that I had gotten the email, and my plan was very very simple. Basically, uh, go in, talk about what I do and like how I like music and how I guess I want to be an engineer. <laughs> and uh, that was it. I never, I didn't really put any other thought into it. But I remember very specifically, you were like, no, um, there's a strategy to it. There's also like, you have to take a bit of care and effort to it. Like, read up on the company, see what they're about, see if you can provide value to that company. And do you want to just go a little bit into that and like in terms of like how to actually approach any opportunity that's presented towards you? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it really is about being strategic and intentional. I think I think the key word is intentional, um, whether for it's a, it's a job or a project or just a personal aspiration. But especially when it comes to um, a career pursuit. Um, and I know in your case, we talked about how, you know, a company is probably interviewing many individuals for this position, right? Um, so if you kind of try to put yourself inside the mind of the person who's doing the hiring, the hiring manager, you know, what do you think is going to be important to them? Well, they're, they're going to want to bring somebody on board who understands what the organization, organization is about, what they do, um, what their specialties are. Um, somebody who, and, and yeah, and I would even take that to a higher level. It's not just about going into an interview and coming off like you want a job. You have to make them see that you want this job with this organization. And, you, and you're, I, I can see you reacting in certain ways. And I think that's probably because that's something that Jeet and I had many conversations around. <laughs> um, and it is, it's really about targeting what you're going to talk about, how you're going to introduce yourself in a way that is completely positioned towards this organization, what's important to them, how you can add value, like Jeet said. So the job description, got to look at the job description. Got to look at it in advance, not like not 30 minutes or an hour before. Do it the day before or a couple of days in advance. Do as much research as you can on the organization. Go to their website, read every page on their website. What's their founding story? Maybe it was really interesting or cool. You can talk about it, that in the interview. That will certainly be impressive. Um, what is their product or service? Who are their clients? Any notable things about them in the news? That's definitely a big plus is to just kind of have that market knowledge about them. Um, and specifically the job description, what have they stated that they're looking for in the ideal candidate? And so it's your goal to look at that. And I always say print out. I know that's like really old school and like uncool, but I'm all for printing things out and taking a marker or a Sharpie. I don't care. I'm going to say it. I think when you have it in hand, it's real. Um, go through your resume, go through the job description, take a highlighter in everything that every line in that job description, find out where on your resume you've done that. You've done something similar to that. You've done something that is transferable to that and be ready to have those things at top of mind. So when they ask you about those things, you'll have a great example to give. That's going to be really relevant to them. Or if they don't ask you about those things, you definitely want to speak up and, and be enthusiastically sharing with them those things about you that, that you want them to know about them. So I would say preparation, passion, um, and those are two really big parts of it. And yeah. I'll, I'll add one last thing, sorry, mm -hmm. no, you're okay. um, is I think people don't realize, job candidates don't realize that they control 50% of the interview conversation. It is a mutual assessment. Um, and if you can look at any goal going into any interview, it's like you want to have come out of that interview feeling 100% confident that you have educated them on everything, all the awesome things that they need to know about you and why you want to be a part of their organization. And if you come out feeling great, you've done that, you have done your job. Um, and so really, um, really customize, make it specific. Um, and that it, that extra effort will definitely go a long way. Uh, and I remember, it's so funny. It's literally like your. Uh, Does it bring back memories? <laughs> it brings back a lot of a lot of uh, horror stories and nightmares. <laughs> and but that but that that's exactly the point, right? Like this mini series is exactly for people who think like the way I thought. 
Um, when I like even hearing you right now, I remember when I heard it back then for the first time, it was very much like, oh my god, what? This is like I thought like shouldn't I just be judged based on like you know how you know how good my mixes sound or how passionate I am about music like it all sounded way too contrived and like too like planned out and thought and you remember because I was so so fucking reluctant about all this stuff remember you remember how yes I, I do right I do and I remember one thing that came to your mind um um, was, you know, but but I'm a creative person. I shouldn't have to think about this aspect of things. I'm a creative. But it really is both um, because you are creative, but you're also, it's about the business and the organization that you want to be a part of. They're a business. So you need to think about how you're going to, you know, in a sense, market yourself to them, right? They're a business. They want people on their team that's going to help them continue to be successful and grow. So you really need to keep that in mind. I think that's probably one of the most powerful things that, that you can do. It's a very hard switch, though, for a creative, you know, to do like to think about this thing that they that's like impacted their heart and their soul. And like, you know, they kind of they kind of make these little creative babies and like suddenly you have to like put a put a business around that and structure something around that. It's very difficult to really think of it like that. It becomes almost like uh, like you're you're going to be part of a a job, but that that's kind of the point at the end of the day. I actually, I yeah, and I actually think I think it all it takes is just like a shift of perspective because in the end, like if you're going for a job, that job is probably their their business. Um, especially if they're a for-profit business, right? They want to get those right people on the team who want to be there, who can do the job because they're going to be the best employees. Um, and so as a creative person, I think this is actually an opportunity for you to tap into your creative side and think about what are all the things about myself that they really should know about me? What have all the things that I've done, maybe things I've forgotten about in the past, um, things that people might think might not be relevant, like a side project, something you did over the summer, a freelance thing, something you did in college, a college project, um, or like a project at SAE. All these things are experience. That's so true. And as soon as you started saying that, um, just to like get off the engine room uh, job application for a second, um, that leads me to the whole 01 process that I went to, which was just a, just, a wonderfully horrific nightmare, if you will, not to use the same terminology, but like, um, well, before we you get to tell people about what O one is. And yeah. The yeah. Process? Before we get into O one, I do want to just yeah. close out the engine room thing by saying that even though you had said all this stuff to me and t I'm sure I must have told you this over the years, but I did very minimal research. I went to the website. I was like, OK, I looked at some pictures like, OK, cool. Andy Vendette. Oh, cool. Rush. He did Rush. That's, that's pretty cool. And uh, I didn't think anything... and that was an, that was an engineer who worked there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. so I, I did. I was so reluctant. Uh, but even within that, I, I did like the absolute minimum. I'm, I'm telling you the honest truth. Like, even though you said all that stuff and it sounded like the right thing to do, I, I did the absolute minimum. But I went in for the interview. The interview was fine, you know. I'm a pretty cool, pretty chill guy. Like, so there's nothing really terrible that happened. But there was a very distinct moment where the operations manager at the time was walking me around the studio, and uh, he walks me into the mastering room, and Andy Vendette is there. And I say, "Oh, you're Andy Vendette. Didn't you work on Rush and Dream Theater and stuff like that?" And he, and he just kind of he lit up, and he was like. Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. And then I think the operations manager took notice of that, which is like, oh, this guy actually gives a shit about this place. And it actually has done some type of research in terms of like what this company is about. I don't know if that helped me get it, but I'm definitely not going to say it hurt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's great that you did that. And that, like you said, something as small as that, it showed them that you actually know about who they are and what they do and who the people are that are part of the organization. And that tells them that you care. I, I would love to talk to, his name is Benoit. He's in France right now. Uh, but I'd love to talk to him again and just see like, was that the reason why you hired me or? You should, that would be a great uh, episode. 
I, I think I would be proven right. I think just because I'm a pretty chill dude, he hired me. But he, you might be right. Maybe he hired me. I think it's I think it's several things, including the, the, the prep that you did. I do truly believe that.